Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am doing another car review today and every car I love it more than the last and it's awesome because our car is um, a, under a year of we have to return it for a lease and um, all these cars experience are kind of just giving me a feel on what I feel is a must-have for our next car like just a, a the key things from each car I've reviewed so far are like on my list of must-haves when we go get a, a car because <laughs> amazing features out there that I never knew about in the car world. So this one is a Mazda, this one is a Mazda CX-9 Grand Touring all-wheel all drive and um, the color is a like silvery grayish, I don't even know really what color I'm looking at it right now but I'm not too sure the exact, the name of the color but I was actually surprised when I saw the color that I actually liked this color and it was never one of the colors that I actually thought about when purchasing a vehicle in the past. Um, I always just kind of went like the white blue red type thing um, but I really like this color and the vehicle is 18 miles per gallon which is good um, we drove quite a bit and I didn't really have to fill it up and um, I did I think this one has been the vehicle that I personally have driven the most um, this week just kind of it happened that we had a lot of days where I could take the kids to the park okay so this car has three rows which is awesome because um, you can fit in more people when you have to but the rows the third row actually folds forward so that if you want more trunk space you actually have more trunk space so we used it with the third row down most of the time and um, I fit in my double stroller my single stroller bags and just a ton of stuff fit in perfectly with more than enough room so especially with us we have two car seats so our car is packed pretty much with us only one other person can fit in our car in the middle of both car seats pretty much so um we pretty much always have to take two cars if we're going somewhere with other people uh, especially if they have kids too so the third row would be really nice if we had a specific outing where we had more people and we needed we could use less trunk space because i think with the third row up we possibly could fit our double stroller at least or at least our single it doesn't give you a ton of trunk space but you also can just put one of the seats up from the third row and then you have the side um also for trunk space so you could also do that which gives you an additional two seats in in a car especially with us like I said when we have two car seats and we don't really have a lot of room for other people to fit in our car the car also had a sunroof just in the front but it opened and I really liked it especially because it's been nice and sunny these past days so it was really nice to have a sunroof and just um, be able to have that air coming from the top the car also had one of my favorite features which is the keyless entry and I I, this is like a must-have for my future cars but this one was a little different and I really liked this so instead of it was a push to start um, you push the button to open the car and then uh, where the key would go there was an, a thing there that you had to turn like if it was a key so I really liked that because I felt like I was turning the car on um, with the push to start I loved it but I it was confusing at first like I was how I had to do it um, so this one's really nice it's a nice in between because you can just turn it as if you're turning the key but the key doesn't have to be in and it's still that whole keyless entry thing but it has like that fake type of key thing there the seats adjust I, I noticed on the side we didn't really use this feature um, but it's a good feature to have in a car that I would love to have in our future car because um, it had where you can adjust the seat like you press one two or three and it would change or settings where the seating would change so right now whenever I drive our car um, I put the seat all the way up pretty much and I um, adjust the seat to my liking with the mirrors and everything and when John has to go in he has to move it all the way back first and then adjust it and vice versa so this is an awesome feature because he can just press one it would go right to where he likes it I can press two it could go right to where you like it and you don't have to worry about that time wasted doing the back and seat with the car back and front with the car fixing your seat and figuring out oh is this how I like it and it's never really the same as you always do it it's always like a little off and it always takes a minute so that's also it's an also great feature I'm not sure exactly what that's called I think like the exact terms of it but hopefully I explained that well 
I like that it had an air conditioning panel thing on the back in the back because you can control the air that goes to the back sometimes we might like it really cold in the front but the kids are in the back and I don't want them to freeze so it's nice that they have those vents that you can turn it off or you can put it on but put it less like as cold and I'm sure it's with the heat as well like so I like that it had its own um control panel in the back portion of the car because or if sometimes I'm sitting back there with the kids and I don't like it to be really cold but John's in the front and he's like sweating and he wants it really cold so it's good to be able to adjust the back the seating in the back the temperature in the back of the car right there without telling me having to tell John to put the air down because I'm cold or put the heat up because I'm hot I can adjust it right back there if I'm sitting back there with the kids or whoever is sitting back there uh, a feature this car had that the other cars I don't believe had that I was very that I liked and I just thought was cool because I just like those little cool stuff of the car is and it closes by itself and there were several times where I would go to close it and then I remembered and I would push the button and John just thought that that was so funny because he's like you were halfway there you could have just closed it but I just thought it was a really cool feature and I enjoyed it so it was just cool to always press the button and it just closed by itself another feature that this car has that none of the other ones that I've reviewed had had that I really 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 liked was and I don't know the exact terms for it but it's like lane change assistance I believe that's it the turn signal and you are about to switch lanes and there's a car in your blind spot on your mirror two little cars will appear letting you know that um, there's a car in your blind spot so for you not to turn obviously but if your blinker is on if your blinker is not on you just it just lights up in the mirror if your blinker is on it will beep to let you know because it knows that you're gonna turn but not everybody always puts turn signals so it lights up if there is somebody in your blind spot let's say you forgot to put your turn signal and you're about to turn and you see that little uh, the little signals on the mirror and you know that there is a car in your blind spot so do not um, go over to the other lane and I think that's awesome especially like for new drivers or just anybody in general this car also had the backup camera but this one it would beep when you were too close or when you you were getting too close um, to that red line that it shows it would start beeping and that was something different I also noticed when I was trying to park it kind of the lines were moved I don't know I only noticed that once I don't know if it was trying to like help t tell me like how to turn and park but that was pretty cool and um, I love backup cameras I think they are amazing and especially at this time with this car I went to three different places where I had to park in very tight spots or I had to not park in tight spots I had to get out of tight spots and if I did not have that backup camera I do not know how I would have gotten out because I felt like the uh, if looking in my rear view mirror the other car was like right on me like I felt like I had no room at all and then once I put it in reverse it showed me all the room I actually had so it's like I honestly don't know if I would have been able to get out of those three situations without a backup camera so I was very happy that I went to those places with this car because I think a backup camera is just like it's like a necessity like how do you do without it and my husband's car has a backup camera so when he drives our Venza he always says like like he he it throws him off because he's like oh this one doesn't have a backup camera um so it's definitely something i would want in a future car and i think that if i had to pick anything overall i think a backup camera is the most useful thing and i love it i love the convenience of it i love how it helps you park it helps you like know because i always if you see me getting out of a spot i'm like moving like a hundred times because I feel like the other car is right there and I have no room. It would be great if there was a front camera so I can see the car in front of me. But a backup camera is definitely a must for me. And this car had that. And all the features together just made this car an awesome car. 
My husband said that it drove really well and he loved how it just how it handled and I loved how I felt really high up and I can see like everything. Um, we have a crossover so it's kind of lower and um, this is more SUV. It, this is an SUV. So it's I love being up high and feeling really high. I like the middle council how it was kind of like it had the place to put your arm and it was kind of just like really um bulky um i also like that the back seats went back and forward kind of like your front seat you know you how you have that latch under the seat that pulls the seat up and back and the back seats also had that so that was good because i can push the kids seats back more or up more and um they also go down to go to the third row and it that was just awesome as well because it helped with the seating and everything and the back seats also reclined back um we had car seats there so i didn't really use that but i thought that that was pretty neat so all in all i really really love this car i love every car more than the last this all the features in this car together just bring it together and make it like the perfect car because it's just awesome and the way it drives. So that is it for my review on the Mazda CX-9. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to see more of our daily experience in this vehicle, check out our daily channel, which will also be down below. I talked sometimes a little more about what I felt and showed, showed more of like, you know, our daily life um, in this car. So... Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.